Welcome back to Let's Play Cognition. I'm Tigum, and I'm here with Cosgit again. Hello. And this is episode two, The Wise Monkey. The Wise Monkey. Yeah. Is, is this going to be a three monkeys thing? Yeah, basically. Right, so we're back to finding this guy again. Do we actually look for him, or do we just try and find someone else? No, I I think we don't actually do anything with the cane killer until like episode four. So it's like they had a good idea that we went off and did something else. So you take the call when yeah, I like they, the the prologue is sort of like this ongoing story throughout the whole thing, but you don't really do anything with it till the end. Right. I see. I know when people need healing and how to help them heal. Oh, I've got all the terrible people in this show. <laughs> Someone I've met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. Stole? That, well, I suppose I it's that stealing. Package. It's a bit technically, it yeah. To an ongoing investigation. Oh, you know, I don't uh, think the dead really care that much. The stone postal worker was my favourite character. Who killed him? We make a good team, don't we? I don't remember this. You don't make a good team! You didn't catch any killers, and two people died! <laughs> who was about to make out? Uh, that's a co-worker who... Um, I don't remember that scene. Yeah, that was just before the end of the game. Uh, that, that was a bit of a marathon, we did to finish that one off. <laughs> I, I think I'd come off night shift. Right. So they're establishing that things are creepy. Yeah. Still establishing. What the hell? Oh, he's chained up, I see. Yeah, it looked like he might be, like, spilling a drink or something. But... McAdam sure got here fast. DC is only a two hour flight. I know, but that doesn't mean I like it. It wasn't exactly solved cases in rainbows for me when he used to be our director. What? How are you holding up? <laughs> what happened at the meeting house was... Do cops really dream of rainbows? I don't want to talk about it, Sully. I'm about well, to go over it again with McGann. As much as anyone and else, I imagine. For a few minutes. Yeah, okay. If you want is to that go, Sully? Well, that is Sully. You know. Wasn't what he do you fat? Want to talk about? No, you're thinking of John. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> How's your case going? This thing's a piece of work. Sicko going out there and cutting out people's eyes, their ears, and their tongues. I'm calling her the wise monkey. Why? Cute. Huh? Yeah, you know, there was a partial yeah, no fingerprint evil, on no one evil, of these little no charms, like from a bracelet that were left at the crime scenes. Came back it's a bit matching of a stretch. the prints from this missing girl. Yeah. Plus, she used to take lessons well, do, from the latest he, victim. A from the implication was that he's doing it to all the same stuff. person. Yeah, well, I'm Instead trying not to let anything surprise me anymore. I like the fact Thanks that this case, we actually me. know who the hey, killer is help, already. I'm your man. It was nothing. <laughs> it wasn't nothing, well, Sally. Well, then, in a case like that, isn't it pretty like easy said, just to go for the conviction? We're a good team. Well, you still got to catch yeah. her. I don't know where she yeah, is, but, bad. like, oh. yeah, there should just be, like, a manhunt. How you been lately? I, I thought it was like, oh, well, it's Jennifer down the hallway. Yeah, happen when you don't return my calls. Sorry about that. It's not that I don't like you, Sully. I do. It's just not something I can talk about. That's basically yeah. a complicated version. I, I it's get not it, you, Erica. It's Everyone's got secrets and baggage and shit. Well, I yeah. Got mine. And hell I mean, that is FBI. true. It's practically yeah. part of she the She can't be with him because she's psychic and just the job like, risks. Whenever she touches people, she Why gets visions. Why don't we visions, grab a drink after we're done here? Which would be pretty inconvenient. <laughs> Sully, it's 2 a.m. All the bars are closed. There's always she hasn't been to very fridge. many bars. Has she? What do you say? <laughs> Toss back some. Sam By the way, her Adams phone is enormous. Sam McAdams. <laughs> yeah, that's a special shouldn't. phone that only. <sighs> and I could use a beer after the Only day contacts I've had. like interdepartmentally Hi, I or something. I heard y'all had some night owls in need of coffee up here. Yeah, thanks. Sounds good. No one at all brings coffee for people. It's just not done. You say, do you here want? Here we are, coffee? darling. Yeah, there's actually a reason for this, but How it's really you, dumb. Hun? Let me guess, it's poisoned and she wants to cut out his ears. Yep. Yeah, coffee sounds good, thanks. 
You the new office assistant? That's me. Just started last week. My name's Tess. Let's Achievement see. for accepting must some coffee. Erica. <laughs> they must have told you about the hair. Isn't huh? your only red um, in the building? Not an individual thing. It's like a group. You're uh, red. No, I think it can be I'll used you for kids in the individuals morning. as well. Yeah, later uh, today. God up to date on my um. Oof. Good luck, Southern Erica. Lingo, Thanks. Or whatever it is. Country lingo. It's 2 a.m. and they're all complaining about how ridiculously late it is. They're the FBI. Don't they, like, work this, like, Special relatively Agent often? Reed. I thought they'd be mostly okay. shift workers. And it's yeah, late and I'm not you, interested you tend in to wasting leave time. after your shift because you've got how another shift. How the hell shift. is Davies dead and her killer not apprehended? Uh, I don't know many I cops. I tried. I fired at the killer. The bastard just kept dodging. Dodging bullets? And the director's in the this office. This isn't a comic book, Agent. I'm telling you what oh. I saw, Director. I fired, and the killer never I got I don't know if that's meant to be a joke. This isn't a comic book, because I have the comic-style scenes Why and did the that? killer choose the old South meeting hall? Whoa. It's possible. Dizzy. You look pale. Could be because it's 2 a.m. It's oh, the yeah. site where Samuel You get quizzed on what happened in the previous in game here. Which trials. I don't understand why. The killer why. was drawing a parallel between him and Davies. Encourage you to go back and replay it. How do you too. not know this? How do you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's inbox. worth doing. What were you doing snooping around in here, Agent? You should just say that doing Madison showed you the email. If I hadn't come in like, yeah. that email, who's, we probably wouldn't that, even Who's going to really call you on that? You have no yeah. right to break into a superior's office. If you do it again while I'm here, don't count on me going lightly on you. Now, tell me what you know about I this I love how mess. angry he sounds. Someone was in communication but with Davies. The bodies aren't just, Longer, just aren't quite matching up. Yeah. She wrote it off as a kook, but when he showed up dead, she looked back They have the same body language no so matter what they're doing or saying. helping her, then hunting her? I, he got angry when she didn't listen. As, but the threat was always there. If Davies had followed up on the like leads, that. she would have seen that she was a target. What have you got to prove this? I can't focus. I like how Erica's just casually blaming the dead woman for her own murder there. Yeah. How long is this set after Here. The facts the pointed to the post oh, like and the same night. Tendu, and those scraps so from a picture of David. Her boss dies and she's at work till two AM. So Yeah, because this guy's guy just arrived to question more, everything and everyone about what just happened. I don't happened. know yet, but I'm uh -huh. not gonna stop until I find out. You? I don't think so, Agent. You're not on this case. That seems reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought you'd say that. Let me guess. I'm too close. Got it in one. I'm surprised to hear it from you, though. I expected you'd pitch another fit like you did with Kane. I'm glad to see you've learned better. That was... No, different. we're just trying to get onto the action. It was my brother, McAdams. I'm not as close on this case. Spare me. I've heard it before. The fact is, your performance is ever that one of those things that looks like a conversation at for, but you just end up coming back to the sporadic. same thing anyway. Yeah, basically. Don't get too upset. <laughs> it happens to the best agents after this a loss like that. This is the most But it's been three complaint. years, Erica, and your performance is all over the place. Some cases you're solving almost before the ink dries on the evidence reports. Others are getting drawn out far too long. You need to get your shit together. I can't different this investigations in the are going consistent. to take different amounts of time. Shit. Yeah, sometimes, Room you know, you go, oh, it's that thing, you know. I, I do a similar thing at my job, but sometimes you look at it and you go, yeah, that's easy. Yeah, like sometimes it'll be the obvious suspect, the first person you question, and they'll just admit it. Adrian Case Reed? closed. Are you all Other right? times, I just, you'll yeah. have no I idea what the motive back. was, you'll have to do a lot of investigating. More. That's it, you know. Sometimes, you know... You know, even just the different time of day you look at something, you go, oh, that's... No idea what that is. Come back to it two days later. Oh, it's that. What the hell's going on? Oh, that drug in her coffee's just kicked in. Well, no, I realise that, but... Sully? How'd she get out of the, um... Sully? She just ran out of the office, back to the other room. Freeze! Bitch. Uh -huh. I know Sully's pretty useless, but there's no call to call him a bitch. <laughs> that does seem a bit harsh. Especially as someone's just cut off his ear. Also, that seemed to happen in the police office. Yeah, that's the Didn't FBI the, office there. When the, when she started falling over, the director just sort of let her go and go, Oh, yeah. crazy. <laughs> crazy ass bitch. You know. <sighs> that's Erica for you. Yeah. 
Oh, he's just collapsing and I know running out of places. <laughs> when I look a bit angry, my manager comes and checks everything, so yeah, he does just go. Well, you know, that's, that's cause. God, this guy. Wake up, damn it! What, <laughs> what are you doing again? sleeping on the floor, Eric? <laughs> yeah, you stumble out of there, John. and then just collapse. I found you out here, along with a lot of blood and... that. I saw Why was he looking at the Second ceiling? Thing. That bitch drugged What's us. <laughs> They're gone by now, but I need you working, if you can. No, I'm fine now. What do I need to do? Find Get out, out there and this. find Agent Sullivan. I'm calling everyone back in. Yeah, that's a good idea, but what about security at the front door? They didn't notice someone getting dragged out? Apparently not. Sully's ear. She cut his fucking ear off. I don't he think something smart it. to say, but I can't come up with anything. Nope. Like, this is basically finding the hotspot, isn't it? A silver jewelry charm, shaped like a guitar. Well, like, I don't know where you're expected to go at this point, because you got drugged and your partner got kidnapped and... Yeah, like, where... what are you meant to do about that? There's no time for that. And I thought, you know, investigate the desk where the... You know, yeah. where the killer was working. Nope. You, you wouldn't expect that she'd come up with much, but... You know, you go, well, maybe that's that where you'd look first. Yeah. Yeah, we just saw that. I am, but now we're seeing it psychically much better. Oh, yeah, that helps. They must have gone down the fire exit stairs. Yes, you saw them do that. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> Surely there would be security cameras and just, like, There'd be a trail of blood, wouldn't there? Yeah. You'd think. But also, a the door smear. was closed at the end of that vision, and now it's open. I There's don't no think that means that. anything. I think they just fucked up. <laughs> Crazy ass doors, you know, always opening and closing, especially those fire escapes. Yeah. <laughs> what the? My tires are freaking slashed! Damn it! Something. Where were you going to oh. go anyway? Well, uh, and don't, wouldn't they have cop cars as well that you could borrow? You'd think, yeah. And this is the same vision from the first game that didn't lead anywhere. Oh, I, so just distraction. Yeah, I guess this is, like, going to be relevant in the fourth episode, but we're going to see it in all three episodes leading up to that. Again? So they're subtle. What is that? Again, security on this car park seems to be a bit low for a police station. It's like, yep. That it's not like anyone dislikes tires. the um, police. They're psyching the car back together. I happen to keep a full set here. <laughs> my spare tire. I paid extra for a full tire. Not that it helps when all four of mine are slashed. My tire iron. <laughs> also, I, look, I, I admit I haven't seen a lot of cars, but you don't tend to just keep them, those things loose in the back of your car. <laughs> As she's driving around, you can just hear those spare tires slamming against the sides. <laughs> Belongs to someone from the office, but I don't know who. What was that noise? Hmm. It's a mystery. <laughs> Hello? Is someone in there? Hang on, I'll get you out. Or will you? Shoot it off! <laughs> tape still recorder. got that tape recorder! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yes? You're not... Hang 
on. I'll get you out of there. I'll just feel your ass a bit first. Yeah. <laughs> and your feet, because I'm a feet girl. I like how she clearly was supposed to be pulling the gag off, but they didn't actually yeah. do no, that. I, I thought a good thing Tess, to do would be to take the gag off so they can say, look out frog. behind you. What happened? <laughs> We're trying to find out. Oh, I meant the psychic. Yeah, I think you're actually meant to talk to her first, but fuck that. Yeah. Tess, thanks for staying for this. I know it'll be tough, but I need for you to think about what happened and remember as many details as possible. I, I'll try, Agent. And this looks like the puzzle from the last no, game, but it's not. You just click the one of these that here. is relevant. Oh yeah, knockout dust. Because of course. That's a thing that exists. <laughs> what did that woman put in her pocket? Now we're gonna fish around in her pocket awkwardly. <laughs> she looks ready to pull. That would be more St entertaining. Sta standard police checks. I need to put my hand in your pocket. Can I get Not you anything? Missing. Get this over with so I can go home, please. You don't want some donuts or some chips? Tess, <laughs> the woman who did this is a suspect in a serial killer case. Don't worry, you aren't the target. You were just a way to get in the building. I think you can say that to people. But can she's you? taken another agent hostage, she might be. and we need to know everything so we can find him. Eh, oh, who knows? Oh, Lord. Mama said this job was a bad idea. I should have listened. I'll help, but I don't know what I can tell you. Because your mum is from Hotspot and a drug dealer. Tell me what you remember. I got off work and I came out here. I was stepping over to my car and someone asked if if I had dropped something. I started to turn around and then and, and then she blew this powder in my face and oh oh I don't know I can't remember past that. You're all right, Tess. And she looks suspiciously now. just like Did you. Did she have too. a southern accent too? No, she sounded like she was from around here. What did she look like? She had blonde hair and a long coat, I think. I didn't see her face. I'm sorry. Any other details? What kind of build? How tall? She, oh. It's um, a bit pushy. Gosh, I don't know. Surely, you maybe, know, maybe someone in this situation, sort of you'd want to coax build? it out of them, not. Yeah. Tess, would and you you're not meant to lead, for me? ask leading M questions. My pockets? Um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> It's not mine, I swear. How, how did you know? Call it a hunch. And don't worry, I know it's not yours. What is it? Thanks for staying to talk to me, Tess. I'm sorry I wasn't more help. Everything helps narrow it down. Get yourself checked out at the hospital. Someone will give you a ride. I there. have no idea what that achievement was for. If you do think of for. anything, give me a call. I will. Oh, I'm sorry, I never got your name. Erica Reed. Someone was looking for you. Her <laughs> name was Cordelia? You weren't in when she came by, and everything was all crazy with what happened to Director Davies. I took down her number and left it with Gwen when I got off my shift. Thanks. I'll get it from her. Who's I don't Gwen? think this job is for me after all. Uh, she's the all woman at the front much, desk who also handles evidence for case. some reason. Take care, Tess. Oh, okay. That thing that went in her pocket looked a bit like a guitar pick. Yeah, it was another one of the charms, like the one that was left with the ear. Yeah. This is where Tess sat. Where's Gwen now? She's what, right what, there oh, in the middle no, of the I screen. Mean, sorry, I mean, where was she before? Oh, now Gwen everyone's been called back in Gwen now, remember? Short. I don't know what we'd do without her. So, Department admin, okay. office manager, and she's handling evidence these days, too. Well, tell her to stop handling the evidence. <laughs> yeah, that sounds wrong. You know, it, it, it sounds like the sort of thing you probably should have a bag, lock away safely, not let some random person just poke. What's wrong? You look out of sorts. I don't know what I'm going to do. We've got missing evidence. I think it was that woman who took Sully. What did she steal? Evidence from the Wise Monkey case. 
We had four charms from the crime scene, but three of them are gone now. And I've got these forms to take to McAdams, and oh, he shoot. stole three Just charms three. and left two more. This yeah. doesn't make sense. Tess told me she took down a phone number for also, me and gave it to you. Wouldn't right, they be in a locked room? It. Here you go. Yeah, you would think so. Keeping the evidence secure is probably important. Thank you, Gwen. Anytime. Oh, and I thought, you know, we've got more charms here, so we probably should give them to Gwen. Gallagher's but tape recorder. Giving the evidence to the I person who handles the evidence is the not something you do in this it. game. There's no tape in it. And obviously, we're going to need to listen to another cassette at some point. Yeah. That bitch left the silver guitar charm next to Sully's ear. This theater mask's charm is new. It was left in Tess's pocket. I'm getting the feeling at some point you psychic up Codilla's all the charms. Phone number. I guess so. Puzzle solved. <laughs> Tess must have written it down wrong. Maybe I can use my powers to find the right one. Wait, what? There's something there, but I can't get a fix on it. I think this means we're going to have to go visit Rose again and get a new power. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> ability to recall phone numbers. That won't yes. work there. <laughs> yeah, so it can't give the evidence to the evidence woman. Right. That's a bit weird. Once again, Erica is just going to wander around with evidence in her pockets. Because, you know, they don't need to say, account for its... Well, the ones from what's-her-name's pocket might have some fingerprints or something on it. I don't know. Yeah, but... you would think. Or, well, you know, have a hair sample or something weird. And once again, there's these two agents sitting here who you cannot talk to or interact My with in any way. My partner in crime. Yeah. John has always taken a protective John seems to be just me, sitting there relaxing, especially though. Especially when I get my yep. crazy ideas. And why does he get carpet? <laughs> why is his desk way off at the end of the room, away from everyone else's? Do you suck again? No. You always gotta check, because you my never know what you'll need to suck. My cigar loving, donut-devouring FBI partner. Things cannot get more cliche than that. I assume she's thinking that and not saying it McCoy? right. Red? No, Are remember, the... she says everything out loud. Can Everyone just politely ignores her. McAdams took me off it. Yeah, I'll let you know if we learn anything new, Erica. You found her. That's more than anyone else here could manage. We are bad at our jobs. Didn't stop her from being killed. I'm gonna do everything I can to find Sully. But I feel responsible for what happened to Davies. That's because you, didn't you are. kill her, Erica. It's not your fault. Uh, I know. I just wish I could nail the asshole who did. Or catch anyone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be Adams good. I say nail that dead. asshole is a bit How suggestive. How long do you think though? he'll stay? Probably just until Davies' murder is solved. He's better suited to DC. Well, considering how fast he got out of here after Scott died, I think he agrees. So why fill in up here? The top brass says go, you don't ask questions. All right, you do, but McAdams doesn't. That's not true. You need to if ask he doesn't questions. Like the assignment. Otherwise, we're all just basically he Nazis. Davies for years. He <laughs> wants to bring in a killer. You almost make him sound like a half decent guy. He doesn't have your spirit, Skippy, but that doesn't make him a bad person. Try not to piss him off. Why does he call her Skippy? <laughs> no I don't know. Promises. I don't remember if he called her that in the last game either. I'm going to go back to my work. Yeah, call more people him, Skippy. <laughs> this is McAdams' office now. Again. It was his years ago when he was branch director here. He's come full circle. No, he hasn't. <laughs> yeah, that seems a bit weird. <laughs> she really doesn't like him. That seems a bit unfair. Eh? Just seems to be doing a decent job. Yeah. And it's very tell-don't-show, because we've got no context for why she doesn't like him. She just keeps saying she doesn't. Information on Davy's case. I'm sorry, that is not information Davey's on Davy's case, because it's the exact same thing down. that was on that whiteboard last time. 
Maybe they have a very structured method for sorting information. <laughs> and that, that, that method is I hope there's someone more peaceful put it all case. up there and leave it there for the next case just in case it relates to it. Always use this exact same Samuel diagram McGavin. with these circles. He's been working in DC doing profiling for the last three years. I didn't miss him. I wonder if he feels weird being back in his old office. He jetted out of here after Scott died and Kane got away. Oh, so McGavin. he's the killer. Agent Reed. <laughs> It wasn't Tess. She was drugged and locked up in her car before anything happened up here. Oh, are we still establishing that? Does she remember anything about the person who came at her? Nothing too useful. Sir, given what was done to Sully and the case he was working on, I really believe that... The wise monkey. I thought of that too. I've told IT to get you access to his Everyone computer. Everyone thought of that. Get on his computer and find whatever info on this you can. Abduction isn't part of the M.O. She's gotten bolder. Something must have changed for her. Yeah, Find out you what. almost worked out Wise who Monkey she was. Is your case now, Agent Reed. Find and Agent she Sullivan that, as so soon as possible. As well. I'll get back to it. See that you do. <laughs> that won't work there. Show your boss the evidence you found? <laughs> nope. No way. That was a weird door opening. <laughs> yeah, that's a really <laughs> weird animation. We probably shouldn't pick on that. I'm this sure these guys put in a lot of work. Well, yeah, but effort doesn't necessarily translate to results. <laughs> this place is a mess. At least the file I need is on top. This place is a mess. Two manila folders. Two! No, no, three! Files. Oh, maybe four. <laughs> There's two under the screen Let's there. Let's see what you got. God, it's chaos. <laughs> yeah, I'm thankful she hasn't seen my desk. It's empty. Sully must have been typing this one. I should check his computer. I don't think the FBI should leave just case files sitting out. The that third victim was Colleen Lavery. Seems slightly inappropriate. Not when, like, Berkeley murderers can just walk in, in there. Found on a stage at the school, pushed from a set balcony and stabbed during the night. Her tongue and eyes were removed. This was the first time the killer removed more than one organ. A silver charm shaped like a G-clef was found with her. Ugh. Do you actually need to read this? God, I hope not. We're just going to spend all our time stumbling around. <laughs> just click all the things and combine anything we can. First victim, Luke Jensen. Recently graduated... Why Berkeley are these College not in order? The, he was found behind his like apartment the third in tab is the first victim. Fire escape, Don't they usually have a lot of problem sort of... A silver violin shaped um, charm was later found at the scene. Sorting out what's related to what for these serial murder stuff? Well, I think in this case, because... She always cut out the eyes and left one of these silver charms. They're just like, yep, that's probably the same person. Well, wouldn't they then go to copycat person or something like that? Second victim, Nick Stewart. It's what you and I would AKA do. AKA <laughs> DJ Abhorrence. He spun at Jaunty Abyss, a club in downtown Boston. Pushed from a staircase outside the club, stabbed, ears removed. That is a really dumb name. A silver bell-shaped charm was found DJ with DJ Abhorrence. Yeah, well, he's a DJ. What do you expect? It's not even a pun or anything, it's just abhorrence with a space in it. Fourth and most recent victim, Heather Ann. A retired opera singer who also gave lessons. Found in her home, she'd been pushed from the upper landing of the stairs, killed on the first floor. Lived alone, no witnesses. Kelsey was one of her students up until last spring. Eyes, ears, and tongue removed. A piano charm was found at the crime scene. Hmm. So the killer likes music. And um, Kelsey is the uh, the suspect, I believe. Ah. Shouldn't they be calling it the suspect, not Casey, Kelsey, or whatever it is? Sally's stress ball always looks like it's laughing at me. All the trademarks of a Southie boy. 
An achievement Pat's for looking at a stress ball. Celtics and a uh -huh. big, huge Irish family. He's got three brothers and five nieces and nephews. That Golly is not a huge family. Friends. What's a Southie boy? Oh, who knows? You're gonna tell this crazy story to them over some beers at the next family reunion. Promise. I don't know. You shouldn't write checks your ass can't cash. I mean, the guy has three siblings, and she calls that a huge family. Well, she doesn't have any siblings. <laughs> well, <laughs> just more siblings than me. That's massive. Sorry, busy this weekend. I can be a real bitch sometimes. No, you just not in this it. case. Whoa. though. <laughs> this one's from the director of the FBI. It is with great regret that I must inform the Bureau of the passing of Madison Davies, the director of the Boston field office. She was killed in the line of duty during She's the most really recent case She's really impressed to Boston. have gotten an Madison email from the director the of the FBI. FBI. <laughs> An yeah, that's a agent bit weird. Whose history of work you know, I get company herself. updates from the boss all the she time. Sharp just, yeah, you'd think there would be, you know, emails from the boss quite regularly. Yeah, well, big announcements like that, you know, if it was personally. Being like, yeah, it's Samuel not a personal Adams letter. Will be the yeah. acting director of the Boston field office until further notice. Sincerely, Brandon Rahal, FBI director. Boston office agents and employees. As you know from Director Rahal's Why is she reading this out? Why can't you just read this yourself? Director in the wake of Madison Davies' death. Oh, well, gotta spend that voice acting budget in Boston somehow. In a few hours. Like you, I considered Madison a personal friend. What's kick? And I have every intention of bringing her killer to justice. I guess we're about to find out. You can aren't best we? aid in this endeavor by continuing your current assignments with your full attention. And if you are pulled onto other cases or assignments, give those your full attention as directed. In other words, do your the job. Funeral arrangements yeah. to Madison are made by her family. <laughs> well, to be fair, be look at who he's got working for him. He has to <laughs> remind them. <laughs> Southie Townie boys, don't forget our game against the Somerville Ballers is this Saturday at two, and they've got their ringer, the infamous Miles Goodhue, in the lineup. Warm up and stretch those kicking legs, boys. I don't understand hey, any bro, of that. Any ideas for Mom's birthday next week? As usual, no list. Think she'd like one of those Maybe it's what things? they call sucker. I'll make dinner reservations at the factory. You bring in Erica? Oh, I suppose. I just gotta make sure he's going. What? Okay. The case database. I can access closed and current cases here. But only the ones that have been relevant in this game so far. <laughs> the wise monkey killer is fixated on the removal of the eyes, ears, and or tongues of her victims. Each victim has been pushed from a height, stabbed in the abdomen, and then had one or more of these sense organs removed. Cause of death has either been from the Can head trauma really say fixated when it's or bleeding not out from the stab wounds. Like, the some the seem to have some removed, others have all removed, you know. Kelsey was gaining confidence as she continued to kill. Looks like Sully thought they might all be connected to her, and the deaths were part of some personal vendetta. Makes sense. Revenge killings are fairly common for female serial killers. Her methods particularly I wonder if that's true. Yeah, that's, that's they just an made that up. Is, why Sully? That's probably true of most serial killers. only had this case for a few weeks. How she even women? know he was on it? Don't know. Much less have time to plan this. Kelsey Gardner, age 21. Born and raised in White Rock, New Mexico. Moved to Boston to attend Berklee College of Music, majoring in performance and composition. Dropped out in the middle of her junior year. Last known address is in Dorchester. Reported missing by her parents last June after a few weeks of not hearing so from her. So you have a copy of her driver's Last license. seen entering her apartment by neighbors two well, weeks prior FBI, on May 30th. Worked at a nearby coffee shop. Didn't report for yeah. any shifts after May 30th. She was suffering from financial issues at the time. Circumstantial evidence suggests she may have run away. Everyone on this list was musically inclined in some way. I need to find out more about Kelsey to figure out where she might have taken Sully. Or the dean of students if she actually Berkeley did is a good place to start, and her landlord can probably let me into her old apartment. We could also look at all the in all the like case notes and people from the last case there, if, in case we want to do that for some reason. 
and they keep accumulating with all the cases we look at. Is this right? I assume My so. That sounds very frustrating because I would keep forgetting how names. Well I play with others. Good to see no one's cleaned up the blood or put anything <laughs> around it to say don't yep. stand in this blood. Yeah, no, they haven't set it up as a crime scene. They haven't cleaned it up. They're just leaving it there. That's Scotty. It's my best picture of him. He we still looks like an idiot. We use that only for interagency communications. And that's about the only time I use it. No, that line still makes no I sense. I can connect the FBI database through my computer. Now we can hey, see Dave. the other we side of that email that we read the reply to on his computer. Like to a movie and watch Thank you for taking us through that. Sully. Because like, you can't see the full email chain on anyone's computer. Cool. I could use a couple hours away from all this. <laughs> He's just thinking Dave about is. a party in the middle of trying to Scott. find a missing partner. Maybe that's why he decided yeah. to bury him there. So that he could be as far away from his memory as possible. Whoa, this one's from the director of the FBI. Yes, you hey, just Sam, read it. <laughs> I heard about what's going on over there. I'm so sorry about Davies and Sully, Erica. Are you alright? I've been calling but only getting your voicemail. Just let me know you're okay. Love, oh, Dad. My phone's on silent. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> I don't have anyone to write to right now. Yep, can't reply well, not... <laughs> Sorry, Dad, just not important enough. And so that basically sets up our mystery for the game, I assume? Who knows? It's hard to tell. Yeah, I it guess we're just going to hunt down the wise monkey, yes. Kelsey, or whatever her name was. And and uh, be able to find the phone number for that person who called. And so. judging by Erica's you know, past record, I'm guessing that Sully is going to die. Yeah, <laughs> I don't give you much chance. I, I also get the feeling we're going to spend a lot of time doing stupid stuff and not actually tracking down the person, because we seem to have spent a lot of time just sitting here going, hmm, hmm, nope, no one's got security videos. Also, like, you would just put out, like, an APB with the local police, you would circulate pictures of her to the media, but no, I'm guessing Erica is just going to have to do everything herself. Oh, yeah. It, it seems to be very much a, um, oh. Can't see them right now, they must have gotten away. Oh yeah. well. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, because there's not like traffic cameras or... No, nothing like that. Well, we, we saw they've got a boom gate that's going to stop everyone. A boom gate that it was apparently opened so that she could drive out. Because it wasn't broken. Oh, she could have parked out the front. No one would have questioned that at this office. <laughs> Then she would have to have dragged Sully out into the street to stuff him into her car to get away. Yes, but going by the current <laughs> methods that this place seems to employ, that would be just business as usual. Uh, just people passing by just going, eh, another guy getting stuffed into the back of a car. This yeah. neighbourhood. <laughs> yes. For the viewers at home, just in case you realise, we don't particularly enjoy this game. <laughs> what are you talking about? This game is a work of art. <laughs> yes, 